Happy Wednesday, everyone. Miss Jill here coming from my office today, actually. Uh, I was recording the video for Sunday, and it gave me a great idea for what I wanted to do for today's um, Wednesday Bible Story and STEM Challenge. And so um, this Sunday, in my message for all ages, a spoiler alert, you want to stay tuned, um, make sure to check out Worship on Sunday. Um, I'm talking about Psalm 100, um, and we're kind of diving into what Psalm 100 says and how that applies to our life right now. And um, Psalm 100, we believe to be is authored by David. So King David, the um, guy we've been talking about a little bit in our Wednesday Bible stories. And so um, in our Deep Blue Storybook Bible, on page 142, we're going to read about David dancing. Um, so this story is from the book of 2 Samuel, chapter 6, 1 through 19. So if you don't have a Deep Blue Storybook Bible and you want to follow along, just get any Bible um, and go to the book of 2 Samuel, chapter 6, verse 1 through 19. And I'm going to go ahead and read it to you and then give you a challenge to complete for today. So King David was bringing the chest of God to the city. The chest was very special. It reminded the people that God was with them. And if you've heard of the Ark of the Covenant, that is the, um, the special chest. Praise God, shouted King David. King David was very happy that he, he could bring the chest of God home. He was so happy that he planned a big parade so that everyone could see the chest. Many, many people joined King David in the parade. Some people played the trumpet to praise God. Some people played harps to praise God. Other people sang to praise God, but King David wanted to praise God with his whole body. So King David danced. Praise God, he shouted, praise God. The parade ended when the chest of God was carried into the city. God bless you, King David said to the people. Remember that God will be with you your whole lives. Then King David gave bread and date cakes and raisin cakes to all the people. King David knew it was a great way to praise God. So King David danced and praised God and they celebrated with a parade and food and lots of fun. Um, and so it's a great story um, to kind of lift our spirits. And today my challenge for you is to build an Ark of the Covenant um, or the special chest where it's where they kept the Ten Commandments. Remember, they carried it through the entire desert and they brought it to the promised land. And so they're bringing it back in to the city, into Jerusalem. And um, there's this big celebration because the Ark of the Covenant, the chest of God finally made its way home. And so I want you to create your own Ark of the Covenant or chest of God. And actually I'll show you, like, so you can see right there, that's what um, it might've looked like. And so you might start with the box. You could start with um, a shoe box. If you have any shoe boxers, if you're like at my house, you might have plenty of empty Amazon boxes lying around. You can use one of those and kind of create your own. Um, it had two poles that people could carry. Um, it around and then once you create your ark of the covenant and feel free to work together you could have um you could each build your own if you've got siblings or you could just um work together to make one um bigger one and go ahead and have a parade um parade around your house parade around your yard um, with your ark of the covenant um you can shout and sing praises you can dance put on your favorite um music and dance and use that to praise god um and just celebrate um all the good that god has done for us so that is our um story and challenge for today. As always, let me know if you complete this one. Send me pictures. I'd love to see it. Um, if you got any videos of you dancing, I would love to see those as well. I know that will make me happy. Um, and I know I would love to share that with um, our, the rest of our church family because that would make them happy as well. So I'm going to close in prayer. I hope you guys have an amazing Wednesday. Gracious God, thank you so much for giving us things to celebrate. Please help us to find joy in all of the things in life that you have blessed us with. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Remember, Jesus loves you, and so do I.